Well, today we have a review and slash kind of like first impressions. I'm going to be talking about two things that I recently got. <clears throat> and they are both by BH Cosmetics. One is the Sculpt and Blend 10-piece brush set. And the other one is the 7 Eye Essential set. So I bought these two at Marshalls, uh, I think like two days ago. And I actually got like a really good price on them. This one was for $10 and the seven uh, brush one was for $3.50. So I've never tried BH Cosmetics before. There's, these are actually like my first brushes. So I'm like really, really impressed by the quality of them. Um, I, I heard some things on YouTube from reviews that I watched that they're really compared to the Sigma brushes. So I've never tried Sigma either, but I'm really, really digging these brushes. Um, I think I used like, I wanna say like two, one from the Eye Essential and two from the Sculpt and Blend. Cause the Sculpt and Blend is a dual fiber. And the one, the first one that I used was the 122. And it looks something like this. And this one is the Small Round Blending Face Brush. And I use this one to kind of get into my crease area and really like buff out all those colors. Hard time blending in my crease area or buffing out uh, colors there just because my crease area is so small. Sometimes my eyes are like really hooded on the bottom. Like my eyelid is like shut down completely so when I do my crease and then open my eye my crease sometimes seems to be like gone so I was really excited how, how sturdy they are these are like one of the most sturdiest brushes that I've had um, I do own a lot of Rio Techniques I own some Sonia Keshuk I have some MAC and I also have ELF I also have uh, Estee Lauder br brushes so I have a lot, I have a quite a lot wide range of brushes that I've tried, but I had never tried BH Cosmetics, so I was really thrilled for the price. So the Sculpt and Blend uh, brush set comes with 10 brushes, like I said, and I'm going to show you guys which ones they are. So I guess just picking them up, this one that I used today, I used this one for my foundation and this one is the 117. This is the angled contouring brush. I also use this to contour. Um, I first did my foundation and honestly, like heads up on these brushes are really, really soft and you can tell. I also have the 114 angled blending brush that if you guys can tell, it, it does have an angle. They're super soft. I love the material in them. Um, I don't know what type of hair these are made of, but they are really, really nice. It says that it's great for liquids, creams, and powders. 16, which is the flat blending face brush. I also have the 113. This is a round blending face brush. And this one's also great for like powders, even blush. I would say even from for cream, um, like blending out cream contour. This one is the 115 tapered contouring face brush and it also comes with the 121 which is the small angled contouring brush yeah. tell the little angle on this one and see how the angle on that one and then this this would be the big end which is a small tapered brush and this would be the like the little twin of the this one of the 115 118 and 115 twins, but this one's way smaller than the 115. But I think this would be like a really good pencil brush, so throw for that. And they also have the 120, which is a small flat blend blending bar. This one is a twin for the 116. You can tell they're like exactly the same. 119. This one is the small angled face blending brush angled as well, just like this one. Just that this one is a lot denser and this one's like flat and contoured. So this would be great for also like uh, the outer V, like placing some color there. And the payoff that they give when you use the shadows um, is really, really good. I don't know if you guys can tell. I did my eyeshadow today and 
I did kind of like a green smoky eye and I really love the way that they deposited the color on my lid because sometimes it's not it's not only like the material of the eyeshadow it's mainly like the brush they use if it deposits the color nicely because some brushes will not take certain colors or glitters or even like shimmery shadows have problems with some of the dual fiber brushes but these didn't seem to show any type of difference i would really rate the bh cosmetics set five stars out of five because it's a really great um like set and then got it for a nice price so i'm really excited for that i'll continue to tell you guys how well they're working for me so moving on let's quickly talk about the seven eyepiece essential set and we're gonna start with the one that i use today and this one a one blending brush and this is just your typical fluffy brush this one's great for blending all those harsh lines making sure that it's really smoked out that you don't have any differences in the colors sometimes if you don't blend it too well you will have like lines and traces of where you stopped with certain colors and this one's going to ensure that that doesn't happen it's a nice brush like i said these are shiny and these are matte so you can definitely tell the difference but they both have the copper barrel have the 104 and this one is the angled blending brush we also have a 102 large shader brush and this one would be used kind of like for packing pigments or any type of shadow that needs to be wet like with six plus we also have a 106 and this one is the fine liner brush i don't do my liquid or gel liner with a brush but i think this would be great for like sometimes when you're working with the liquid lips it's kind of hard to get right in there with the liquid lipstick and those applicators are like really like bu like bulky for your lips so i think that this brush would help me with that a lot they also come with a 103 and this is a small shader brush this is what it looks like also comes with a 105 this one is the pencil brush I love this one. Um, I have a pencil brush from MAC that looks kind of identical to this Lastly, one. Um, they have the 107 small angled brush. And this one I did use today. Um, I used it for my eyebrows because I used the Japoneski brush. But it's very, very synthetic. And this one has a little bit of synthetic, but it also has a lot more dense hairs. I hope... Um, I'm gonna check, I'm not really sure if they're still, but I'm pretty sure they're still available at the BH Cosmetics site. If you would like to purchase any of these, um, don't forget to visit bhcosmetics.com. Check the prices there. Like I said, I got them from an awesome deal. I got these two for $13. So for not having any BH Cosmetic brushes, to me that was like a bargain. And a lot of people, like when I was posting this in my makeup group that I have, um, a lot of people are like freaking out so I'm not really sure on the prices if I do find the link to BH Cosmetics and the direct links to these two sets I will put them down bar so that you guys can go ahead and buy them and try them out but I honestly give both sets five stars out of five I think they're really great they're like the best quality brushes that I've used so far and like I said I do have MAC brushes and I don't think they compare to these like the bristles on these are so soft and I have a lot of new brushes that I was thinking on buying from Morphe and I think these ones are like gonna replace those purchases I was thinking on doing so with that being said um, thank you guys so much for watching I hope you guys enjoyed and um, I will have a review tomorrow for you guys and I will also have a haul up for those of you who have been waiting for my haul and thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.